Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ozu Weekly. I'm your host, Taki, and my co-host for this episode is... Hey guys, it's Sam Radak here. It's my very first time co-hosting this episode of Ozu Weekly, and I'm very excited to be here. And without further ado, let's get right into the news. Starting off today's episode with amazing work by Oli Bundy, who managed to transfer bad Apple Music video into Ozu Editor using an algorithm that places sliders anchors appropriately. Avaxay has recently hit 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. A huge congratulations to him! All top 3 players have had their ranked for 90 days now without any changes. Now that is consistency. Maxi has been restricted. If you would like to read more about this case, feel free to do so via the link to the Reddit post in the description. Please welcome our new featured artist, Xantochroid bringing even more metal and rock music to the game. The bounty for the first FCU on Apparition has been raised from $305 to $555. I'm not even sure who will take this prize. If you have any ideas, share them in the comments below. Ungriver by Unlucky Morpheus has been recently ranked by Riven, being an 8.4 star difficulty map and also being worth 1071 PP for a Nomad FC. Sayonara Bai is now a 4 digit player. For those unaware, he was the number one player in 2014. Eri has released a guide for AR less than zero and trust me, this guide will be useful even if you are not planning on playing that type of stuff. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. Emrek has been on a tear this past week and his hard work has finally paid off. He reached global 1 on the 8th, passing Wildcat by a slim margin of just 4 pp becoming the first Australian number 1 player since Peppy held the spot over a decade ago. During the stream where he pushed to number 1, he peaked at 17k viewers, as well as managing to fill his top 100 scores with only 800 plus PP plays. A huge congratulations goes out to the young Australian. Hanzer, who has been fighting cancer on the off for the past few years, is back to rank Wonderful World. We wish you well on your recovery. There is now a three-way tie to be the player with the most 1k PP plays. Emrek, Wildcat and Eterna each have 9. Who will be the first to 10? My money's on Emrek. It was Red Pixel's birthday on the 8th, so be sure to wish him a happy belated birthday. The development team has rolled out a new, albeit divisive design for the beatmap listing section of the Ozu website. This lucky player purchased two CTL for 80s for $7 at the yard sale in Chile. Congrats to your lucky find. And that was the news for this episode. Let's go to the plays. Opening our plays section, we have Yop FCing new Ascension to Heaven with double time modification, getting 662 pp for the accuracy of 94.65%. Shortly after that, Eterna took the number one spot on the map's leaderboards with HTTFC with the accuracy of 97.59%, earning him 843 PP. Umbre being Umbre, FC Chanchi's honesty with hidden and mind-blowing 99.79% accuracy, taking the number one spot on the maps from Okinawa as well as 866 pp. Were you wondering why Emrek had so many viewers? Well, here is the first reason. Being the first FC on Kovaris Dear Brave with HDDT and being his new top play since it's worth 1112 pp. Well, 
but before that he got a 1039 pp play on wizard side with a hidden double time having an amazing accuracy of 98.83%. Another Emrek play and yet another 1000 pp. This time being HDD TFC on Sunglow, getting 1032 pp and the second spot on the map's leaderboard. Yet another amazing play by Emrek on the last div of taking to the top with a sad miss on the last node of the map. But these jumps at the end, man, a well deserved 971 pp. Emrak, Sherry Bomb, last difficulty, 96.84% accuracy, 875 pp. A 9 star map, just look at this. And last but not least in our MREC section of today's episode is the 811pp play on Interlude. This map is pretty interesting, so take a look at this crazy play. Flying Tuna, haven't heard that name in a while, but here he comes again, with one miss, 1000 pp chill on one in a billion, being his new to play, giving him 974 pp. Chocopafe coming in with a first double time 98.39% FC on Sakura no Zenya, setting a decent top play for himself and receiving 908 PP. And after Chikopafe, almost two years since the map has been ranked, a mouse keyboard player Andros manages to set the first ever double time FC on Sotarxis United with a stunning accuracy of 98.06%, being rewarded with a solid 1073 pp. Amazing, impressive, jaw dropping, you name it.
Here we have Andros with a double time FC, 98.01% accuracy and 955 pp. An astounding score, though unfortunately only claiming the 242nd spot on the map scoreboard. Andros popping off on Golden Wolves Megalovania with the lowest miscount out of all normal plays, claiming the well deserved number one spot on the map's leaderboard with the 96.19% accuracy. Just wow. First ever double time and hidden pass on Pudding Funfair done by Ekero with a 77.22% accuracy. No words. Just just look at this. It's it's yeah. Yeah. Just just look. Let's start this week's play section with the player that pushed Emrek over the finish line. He set the third ever FC on Colors Power Ni Omega Zero and was rewarded well with 915 PP and the number one global rank. I probably butchered that name by the way, I'm sorry. Rex had a super high accuracy 1k pp play this week on Ilja's new set of Kira Kira days. He also took the number one spot on the map's leaderboard with his 99.64% hidden double time full combo. Emrex set yet another great 1k pp score this week, this time it was on God Guys Euphorium. This is a great play, but its most impressive quality is Emrex's incredible unstable rate, 75.77 converted UR. The 
Next set a lot more notable 900 this week. So here we go. First up is its 98.79% accuracy 914 pp play on ICO set of Epiphany. Rack even managed to take the number one spot on the map's leaderboard with its first ever double time FC. Once again boasting an impressive converted UR of 74. Among the plays that took him to the top was this 971pp play on Take Me To The Top with a solid 97.25% accuracy. If he hadn't missed at the very end, this play would have been worth 1012pp. Here is another Marek 900, this time it's a 919pp hidden double time FC on Shizuku's set of Finest Sky, taking the second spot on the map's leaderboard. With this 966pp hidden double time one misplay, MREC took number 3 on the global leaderboards of only biscuits set of belief in ourselves. This one miss hidden double time play on Kawari's set of Prima Stella awarded Marek 970pp. So close to getting the FC. Emrek managed to fix his accuracy on Masrata's set of Hikauki Kumo El Poco Maro DMB edit. This hidden nightcore score was worth 843pp, and with it came the number one spot on the map's leaderboard. Rack very nearly could have set a 1.1k pp play here, however he unfortunately missed towards the end of the map and was awarded with 924 pp for this crazy hidden hard dog nightcore score, once again with a great accuracy and unstable rate.
Rounding out the Emmerich plays for this episode, it's just absolutely insane to miss hidden double time hard rock play on fast set of overdrive. While he didn't get the FC, he did have an incredible converted UR of 61.58. Nothing but great scores this week from the new rank 1 player. Just the other day Bubbleman took the number one spot on the iconic original set of the Big Black with the second ever hidden Hard Rock FC. Umbre set his insane score on Hardware Store with 98.57% accuracy on this ridiculous OD11 map. This week there was a crazy trend among some crazy players. First, KGZ passed one hour long edit of Wheel of Lama, then Apostle followed up with even better accuracy and finally KGZ sniped him right back with better accuracy once again. This is a truly an incredible feat of streaming stamina. Oh well, those were all the plays and news for this episode. We hope you enjoyed and don't forget to follow us on Twitter to join this week's giveaway. Thank you all for watching and we we'll see you next week. Enjoy the memes.